Hey everyone, my name is CountBlock2009. I'm actually doing quite fine for once. Really, seriously, I'm so happy I got this to work the way I hoped it would have. Uh, anyway, welcome back to Dark Cloud Country 2. I'll explain what I'm talking about in a minute, actually, when we start playing. Um, last time through, we were able to beat K. Rule the first time, but see, notice how we only have 84% here, and these two have 102%? That's right, we got a little bit more to do, and they also have 40 DK coins, and we only have 34, and plus, we have no creme coin tokens on those two. I'll explain what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing, yes, as Cranky mentioned in the last one, the Lost World. Um, but anyway, what I was going to talk about is as we head to Crocodile College, which is the first area. I'll actually explain what I'm doing while we're going through levels. Now hear this, land lovers. My name is Clubber, and of course, me bridge is going to cost you many pieces of aid. And if you don't pay up, I'll run you through like this girl does. Yeah, it costs 15 grim points to cross over BTs. Um, I already showed this, but I actually had to start a new file to do this, to redo this, so you guys... I'll explain what I'm talking about in a minute. Anyway, we're going to pay up, or we can fight him. I like fighting him, it's more fun, but we're going to pay up. Thanks for the booty. You me best mateys now. <laughs> I just love how he changes. Alright, the Lost World is actually rather simple. Our goal is to get to that thing in the center where the, like, light is going through. Um, there are five levels in the Lost World. Uh, Crikey appears, and they're in each of the remaining worlds. Ga Gangplank Galleon does not have one. But we're gonna head to Monkey Museum just to see what Crikey has to say quickly. Well, 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 if it isn't our trainee hero, I didn't expect you to find this place, Sonny. Now you must, you must have gotten lucky. Now that you're here, I better tell you. This here is the Kremlin's Lost World, and that big crocodile head in the middle is where you need to get to if you're going to finish this silly game properly. That's what I just said. Stop copying what I say, Craig. But to get there, you have to beat Captain K. Rule and complete all the bonus levels as well. A task, I'm sure, is well beyond a whippersnapper like you. Well, I already did the hardest part. Or most of it. I don't know what I'm, why I'm doing this, but there are some ridiculous cheap hints for this world, which I'm sure you'll be needing as well. Enough talk, let's see your tokens. Uh, we don't have any, so we can't actually can't ask. There are five levels. Jungle Jinx, Black Ice Battle, Clobber Carnage, Fury, Fiery Furnace, Fury Furnace, and Animal Antics. And they are, I believe, and yep, they are all in order, so... We're gonna be doing those in order. The first level is Jungle Jinx, so let's just get going with it. But, I had this recorded, I lost the recording for it, and what happened was... I had to redo it, actually, and I thought I could redo it, like, last time I had the chance to. Well, the problem was, my recording equipment is at home and I haven't been home in a long time. And here's what happened. Get this. I literally tried to do it and it, my recording method, like, failed. And I don't know why. And I was all frightened because I was like, oh, you know, no way. How am I going to finish this? So, I decided, well, I'll just simply, uh, oh, 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 careful those tires actually can squish you against the wall and hurt you. But anyway, so it was like I was thinking, oh, you know, how am I going to finish this game? Oh! I was like, how am I going to finish this game? Am I going to, you know, how am I going to be able to? Oh, this is so worse without her. Um, but yeah, what happened was I literally started pegging. I was like, how am I going to do this? There's only one bonus in each level, just so you guys know. And I was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to, you know, record? You gotta be kidding me! I don't have a way to do this! It just figures. It just figures. Oh, please. Oh, 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 now I have to use this clown. Oh, please! Oh, thank you. Now I can. Okay. But yeah, as I was saying before, I realized I couldn't do this bonus. Um. Because I don't give you the DK barrel, but anyway. What happened was, I was going through it, and I was like, Oh! I was like, oh crap, how am I going to do this? Because I don't have a way to uh, record. Well, I just went and re- um, What is that? I just re- I just did, like, post-commentary for this, and it was actually rather funny when I discovered my original one, and I realized some of the dumb stuff I did. Like, I couldn't believe I was so dumb. And I've learned from it. I actually have studied it. Like a true Let's Player would. He well, wow. a true Let's Player looks at his stuff and he wonders what on earth was he thinking when he did it. Um, but yeah, I had to re-record this. Actually, I'm going to start recording my 6th LP today because I already have the 5th one done. But... 
Oh. What a fun way to start a world. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on. I actually was playing, you know, it was really weird. I came home and it was like, I'm on spring break right now, and it was like, wow, you know, I, I could do, um, I just, I found like an old guide I had for Twilight Princess, and I was like, you know, this is rather interesting. So I started replaying the game, and it was like, how did I not like this game at the beginning? Oh, please make it. Yes! I don't have to do any of that shit. Yes. I don't have to go down there and deal with that. Thank you. Okay. Oh, don't, don't even think about it. Wait for the tire. Wait for Mr. Tire. Wait for Goodyear or, you know, any our Michelin man to come and give us free tires, I guess. Okay. Actually, I need you in a second. You're gonna allow me to do what I want here. Alright, there's the G. Let's see if I can time it. It's after that clump of bananas. Yep. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, I literally, I, I just, it's been an interesting week. But it was like, I was playing Twilight Princess and it was like, I started a new game and everything and I actually haven't gotten that far. I was just, you know, I just started it. And maybe after I start finish this, maybe I'll do that later tonight and just work on it. Because I actually do want to play it. Oh, well, I, I thought for a second I was going to have enough coins to do that. But yeah, and it was like, you know, the thing I didn't realize... I want to see what he says when I pay off. Over here, Kong, the gunling lost me. I'll do it. See, I just love how he's so nice. He's so polite now. But, you know, I didn't realize, you know, just the similarities between, you know, how do you say her name? Like, like I think it's like Leah. I, I don't know how you say it. Like, the girl, you know, from Link's, you know, who's like Link's age that, you know, gets kidnapped at the beginning of the game. Like, the two L's. I, I just never understood how you say her name. It's like one of those things where you... If you say it, well, I always called her Ilya, I don't know why, but I always did. But, if anyone knows, I actually properly pronounce it, let me know, because I didn't bother to check. Maybe that's what I should do. Go check it in a second. Or I'll put it up on screen. You know what? I'm gonna get it before I finish this. Oh, please. Get down. There is a free guy in there, but there's no reason to go after it. Uh, I think the only person we really need is Dixie. This guy, yeah, will steal. Balloons! F you! He stole one of mine! Go through. Okay. Uh, take this. Oh. Well, I got it back, so not bad. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought the O was on that side, but it's not. Okay, go down carefully. There's half way. Uh, we have two ways. Let's go this way. Seems safe. Well, the only... I think the other one would have stolen bananas, but... More stolen. Free guys. I want the end, though it probably wasn't worth it. Oh my gosh. I just want to get through this. But yeah, it was like, I was like, you know... Oh, I missed the bonus! Or more importantly, what I needed to do the bonus. But it was like, you know... Nintendo put a much more romantic relationship in that than people realize. And it's like, so many people hated it, it was like, you know, anyone who knows what Nintendo was doing was, it was like the beginning of the game when she takes a Pona from you, and yeah, if you haven't played the game, you know, you probably, and you wanted to, you know, you might want to, uh, not listen to what I'm saying, but it was like, everyone who knows, it's like, they, you know, oh, oh, oh uh, let's just set this down for a second, and then, yeah. but it was like, everyone who knows who was, you know, who, knew what they were doing there, it was like, she took a Pona from you and, like, wouldn't let you see her until you crawled in, was because she wanted, she didn't want Link to leave, I mean, it's like, hello, open your eyes, but, you know, I always liked their relationship more than with Link and Zelda in that game, just because Link and Zelda didn't, like, really know each other, like, Ocarina of Time made perfect sense, because it was, like, made perfect sense that they would be a couple, because it's like, you know, they had known each other, or, like, they met each other really early, and it was obvious. And yeah, in that Twilight Princess, they met each other, but, you know, Link was kind of a wolf, so, you know, she didn't get to really see him, you know. And until the end of the game was when they got the chance, you know, to actually talk. And they didn't even talk, they were just, you know, she didn't really talk anything to you, she just sort of was like, to Midna, all this stuff. Plus, I think Link actually cared more about Midna than he did Zelda, so it's like, you know... I just thought that was so interesting, how Nintendo, that was like the only... To me, that's the only, uh, game, like, Zelda game, where, like, 
Link's real interest wasn't really Zelda. Like, I just always thought that interesting. Like, if you guys want to comment on that, I mean, don't spoil it for everyone, but I just always thought that that was what Nintendo intended to do. I don't know. I mean, I just had to get that out, because it was like, you know, I just thought that was so interesting how Nintendo did that. Like, that was, I think, what they were really doing. Flea Redden flea run Gorillas again. Wow, that's, that's, I think that's the worst insult you could do to Dixie is call her a gorilla. Hey, uh, <laughs> very odd, this fight day. So polite, so, so polite, with nice etiquette and everything when he gets his money. Just like all, all of us are. You know, um, this level has a lot of cloppers in it. Let's get that. But that was like an interesting thing I was thinking about. Like, I just couldn't get that out of my head. It was like... Why? And it was like when I went on YouTube to see like her like theme and see what people were saying. It was like everyone like hated her, and it was like why? You know, if you understood what Nintendo was intending for, you know, I actually think that was Lake's real love interest in the game. And you saw how it was like, you know, more spoilers if you go further into the game. It was like when she, um, what is that? You know, when she couldn't remember Link, it was like he felt, like, so terrible because he was like, you know, like, what did I do? And it's like, oh my gosh, you know. I don't know. I don't know what you guys' opinions were of it was, but probably saw it. Maybe you guys saw it differently than me. Hey, stop stealing my bananas. Jeez. Yeah. Uh. I can just do it that way. I don't want to actually risk anything, because I hate- Oh, no! Oh! No! 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 Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I lost it that close? Just figures. Oh, I hate the- Oh, but, you know, now that I think about it, you know, I- Oh, I should've went the other way. Oh, thank you. And that's only halfway. This level gets much harder. Alright. That guy's gonna steal. Yeah, he's gonna try to steal. There's also gonna be a TNT one. We gotta, we're gonna get rid of him. Alright. We're gonna use him to blow up another TNT guy. Actually, just make him go. <gasps> and I never thought... I always thought this thing was like a G. Like these arrows. I always thought that was a G, but... I didn't realize that that's actually a circle telling you to, like, go a certain direction. Oh, uh, this barrel is never ending. What you want to do is just, you have to jump over these zingers, which is why I hate this level so much, because you have to time that almost perfectly. Uh, use Dixie there. Uh, we'll use her to blow up. Oh, of course I missed that guy. Alright. I think Diddy's is this easier. Oh, no, 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 no. Yep, and I missed the, the banana. Just, just, what a surprise. This is the final stretch, though. I do know that. Uh, just keep... Not that bad, actually. I used to hate this so much, though. I still hate it, because, like, the barrel will do that right there, usually. Especially with, like, the NES, or Super NES controller. It loves to... And that's what I'm playing it on. It just loves to, like, move at the last second, not in the direction you want it to. Especially if you have to just shoot upward, like you have to, usually. Like, right here. Like, I just hate it, because... This is where I would always die, because my the controller would always, like, tilt, like that. And I don't know how I made that. But I had both, so... But actually, I would rather have Dixie on. There. Oh, I got my balloon back, so... Now I'm all happy. Oh! No, 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 no! Oh! Oh, wait, no, no, I can't do it. Oh, my gosh. I would have been... Ow! Oh, I would have been so pissed if I couldn't be able... To do it. Well, I actually know I'm not going to be able to. Oh, I actually can do this one. With just a wow. I'm yelling for no reason. But. Oh, I completely forgot. It's this nice, easy one. Um, and yeah, you might have noticed we get DK coins instead of just regular creme coins when we complete it because that's the final reason. I took that banana coin so that the free guy just because I needed it to be able to pay Funky. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Rather interesting so far. And I've been rambling. You know, this is probably one of the first videos I've ever done where I rambled on something instead of, like, the game itself. And I try to... I, I want to actually do that, like, more often. Because it's more funny to get my own opinion. Like, what I just felt. But that, that whole Twilight Princess thing, it just fascinated me. 
Scum scummy squash. Jump on me, Toll Bridge, and I'll throw you overboard. Come on, say it. If he says what I think he's gonna say, it'll be hilarious. Oh, there my keys. Oh, darn it. I wanted him to say, he, he'll say, like, I I polished the bridge for you. I mean, it's just, like, so funny. I mean, it would, be per it would have been perfect if right there he said, oh, I polished it for you. But get off if you dare not pay me. Uh, this level isn't that bad. It, once again, uses a lot of, uh, what is it? What's the best way to put it? Well, it uses these type of barrels, another type. These ones, after a certain number of seconds, you know, shoot you out. And the thing, though, that's very important, I knew that. I knew one of those guys was not going to stay. Oh, wow, both of these ones do. It's rather surprising, I thought, first. Just ignore them. What these barrels do is they will shoot you out after a couple seconds, but here's the most important thing. They only shoot you out the direction that they're originally from. I the right one there. Like, for example, though, this one will only shoot me upward. It's not going to shoot me. I can't switch it to tell me to shoot a different way. That banana coin is not worth it. Yeah, I'm not stupid here. Uh, and this one will only shoot us down, so that's why you have to, you know, you don't want to waste time so you get a chance to go up. Oh, wow, I actually, no, I didn't, I'm doing pretty well on this level. And this is considered the fourth hardest of them, though. Because, yeah, I mean, you might notice they try to make it a little more challenging. Oh, how did I get hit by that? Well, I mean, okay, at least I hit the halfway thing. It almost would be worth it to lose, to die and get a back. But I'm going to keep going. I'm going to see if I can do this. If I can't, then yeah, I'll die, and then I'll kind of head to when I get back. But I do know what I'm going to do. I'm going to, before, if I do have to cut any of this, before the final thing, I am going to say the girl from Twilight Princess's name right. The one that, you know, Link was, like, best friends with. I just don't know why I had so much, I had so much trouble. Oh, get down here, you son of a... Just don't kill me! Alright, I believe he's not gonna bother us. Oh my gosh. Okay. This one will only shoot us on the left, so there's gotta be a there's the place. See? Yeah, this one will do it at an angle. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so lucky. Oh! No! no! Wait, 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 wait. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. Oh, but please tell me that does not get rid of my one and only way out of here! Well, at least I get Diddy back. But, you know, I don't know. I was just playing that game and it was like, there's a lot of similarities to Ocarina of Time, but not as many as I would like. Though I still don't consider it as good as Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask. I still think Majora's Mask is the most incredible, one of the best games I've ever played. Because I think it, honestly, it just absorbs you in a way that no other game does in my opinion. You know, if you get suckered into it, it's just incredible to think about it. Though how Nintendo just made it so many different... And not only that, they made so many different... What was the most incredible thing was, in my opinion, in that game, was they made so many different, like, alternate cutscenes. And that... How many games do that? How many games take the time to, to waste money, time and money, to make cutscenes that, you know, are just, like, fail ones? Sometimes they'll, you know, some games just say, oh, you failed, you know? But they, like, went full effort. Though I'll admit, you know, one game that did that as well was, like, Rogue Leader for... Like, Star Wars Rogue Leader for GameCube. That game... I still think is one of the most graphically incredible games I've ever seen. Especially, like, for a GameCube game. A launch one. And it just... It... Oh, what happened to Factor 5? Why couldn't they have been able to stay in business? They were so brilliant at making those games. Uh, this is where we need to go. This is why we either need them or we needed that moron to throw us into... The, uh... That can because... Yeah, here's the bonus. And it's just a fire that tells Oh, yep. And uh, sadly, I remember this one. We get to go all the way up this bramble-infested level while avoiding zingers. Go. Just go. Just. You know, I still hate my drink. I just hate zingers. And now spring's coming up, so now going to be a bunch of bees out, and I hate bees. And it's like, I don't know if I'm allergic to them. I don't think I am. I mean, I remember I knew a girl who was, so it was rather, like, freaky to know, like, if I'm not gonna do this in time. 
you know. Ow! Ow! It's gonna be close. Okay, we made it. But it was it's like kinda weird to know like you could die if you just get stung. And I've never been stung. Oh, that's so oh, that's evil by Nintendo. You would have to or rare, you'd have to do it all over again if you failed that one so I got lucky. Otherwise I you guys would have heard me screaming and cursing and saying a bunch of other foul obscene language, but Alright. The final level of the Lost World. Well, regular level. At least you have to say this one. Let's see let's see your dimension range. Oh, hey, there he is. Hey, you well on this fight day. And now let's go to the final one, Animal Antics. This level is by far the hardest of any of them in the game. There are two ways to do this level. You, each, this level is pretty much filled with a bunch of all, every animal buddy that we could use in the game, except for, I believe, Glimmer, the, the fish, and Clapper are the only two animal buddies who are not in this level. What you want to do is literally, at the beginning here, is just do that move. The reason why is saves you a lot of time. Now, right here, I could have not done that. Right here, you definitely want to use this charge, because otherwise you're going to die. Or you're going to lose one of the coins at the very least. Jump, get rid of cannon, because otherwise, trying to pass him is hell. It's trying to get avoid his cannonballs and trying to hit him is hell. I hated that. I still, it's still to me so hard. Uh, Unguard is our second animal. This level contains a lot of these starfish. Also contains down. a lot of these guys. Um, yeah, just don't go too fast, because otherwise you're gonna run into them. These guys have incredible, ah! like rage attack. It's really scary how good their rage attack is. But that's the end of that's the end of Unguards. And you go through here, and it will automatically take you back out to the jungle. And our next animal buddy is Squitter, and it is, in fact, halfway. So, there's th five in all, and we've already made it through two of them, so we're almost halfway through. This, uh, this part contains a lot of zingers, particularly. Well, there's not a lot of red ones, but there are a couple. And I hate red zingers. I can just, I mean, all, 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 all my if they had put those in Donkey Kong 64, I would have, like, cried. To have to deal with, like, invincible ones. The only way to kill him is with, like, what is some, a special... What you want to do actually right here is, like, with, you know, a TNT barrel, what you want to do is just climb up here, because otherwise you're going to have to deal with those zingers coming after you, and have to shoot them all and have to dodge them. And you can see the bananas are telling you to go up anyway, so we're just going to do that. There should be one, like, like that, and I think that's the last one. Now, before you go into this barrel, actually go up here, because this is where the bonus is. I do know that. Yep. And besides... I want to stay away from that part before I ha literally have to. Um, this part is Bramble, and you might notice this is sadly giving us a hint of what we're going to be dealing with, except it's far worse. Though I must admit, the background for the next area is really cool. This is the only time in the game where they do it. Uh, you also might notice Squawks is our... You have to turn into him here. Oh my gosh. Come on, just get it. Okay, we did it. And you'll turn back into Squitter, and yeah, that does count against your time, so keep that in mind. But we've gotten all the DK coins except for one final one, which we're going to get in a second. Well, in a few minutes. If I can get through this part. This area is by far the hardest, I believe, in the game. It is by far the most annoying area of this game. What it is, is you see those leaves? Yeah, we get to deal with that again. But, even worse, we get to be squawks when we get to do it. But I do admit, I love the background, how there's no, like, bramble in the background, how you just see the, like, the open sky. I think that's incredible. What you want to do is literally don't touch the control stick at all. Just slowly switch it, and you should have no problem. But this level can be very difficult if you, you know, panic and you go in the direction that you're not supposed to, or... See, like, right here, you just want to just sort of flap, but then when the wind is going on your direction, you want to go, you know. But right here, I wouldn't, like, wait for like, I'm actually really well. Oh, okay. Now, see, this is, this is actually where, this is the part I remember now. I remember I was stupid here. I literally, I went for this end, and I have no idea why. I have no, like, freaking clue why I did it. Oh, why did, and I did the same thing I did in my first one. Oh, 
I'm such an idiot! I forgot the O and I still went for it! Why am I such a sucker for that? I did that- I was screaming at myself when I did post-commentary as well. But, maybe I can still do this right. Come on, come on. I just don't want to have to do this again. I don't want to have to do this again. I'm so close to the ending! Don't touch the bramble! Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no! I hate that level! Oh, I don't give it to Diddy back! Well, now I have to do that bonus again. Or at the very least, just fail it. Well, I guess I can just fail it. Oh, now I have to do this part without... Oh, I hate this level! Though I will admit I did it the first time when I did that, but... Oh, I'm such an idiot! Why did I go for that? I did the exact same thing I did it... I told myself not to do. I can't believe I did that again! I thought I had... I grabbed the O. Oh, I'm such an idiot! I can't believe I did that! Like, literally, you know what, I'm gonna pull that up. My original recording. I'm gonna put that in when I edit this. I'm gonna put that in at the end. It's me saying the exact same thing I did. Was I told myself I was such an idiot to go for the end when I got rid of the up. And I did the same thing again. Just die. Oh. For crying out loud, just die. Now please tell me I get both. No! With just one? Oh, they are evil! F you, birdie. I am not doing this one again. Oh, stupid web. Oh, I thought for a second I was gonna make that. Oh. <laughs> please, please! I don't wanna have to do this again! And again, and again, and again! I just wanna get this done. I can't believe they do not give you. Oh, there's nothing there. Oh, that's just like the trick. Oh, I hate this level. I can't believe I fell for my own damn thing again! The same damn thing! Ah! No, 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 no. Just, 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 please, just calm down. Just calm down. Calm down. Go through. Okay. No way in hell I'm going for that again. I cannot believe I was so stupid. I honestly cannot believe I was so stupid there. So now I pretty much cost myself! Ah! By a fire thing! I can't believe they don't give you a cog back! Oh, why did I do that? Why did I decide to do that? I'm gonna be stuck on this level forever now. I'm never gonna be able to do it. I cannot believe. I did. Th I cannot believe that. <laughs> so now I'm stuck with one Kong, no matter what. Just what I need. Just what I need. I was in such a good mood, and now I know I'm gonna be yelling and screaming for the rest of this. Oh my gosh! I do know there was one other huge blunder I did when I did this. Well, you'll see when I'm... I'll edit that in as well. Just because I can't believe I was so stupid. The same thing again. I'll edit that in. Ow! F you, birdie. Ah! Oh my... Oh my... Oh my gosh. I... How did I... Oh! There. There we go. There we go. Good job. Good job. Oh, why can't that be a cheat right there? That little, like, leap part right there. Why could that be where you could just go through it as him? No, you watch. Someone will tell me, Oh yeah, why don't you just go there where their leaves are? That, that's a secret area. And you could do this as... Squinter... Oh! We've made it past this part every time. Ow! Oh, that was so stupid. That was so stupid. That was so stupid. That was actually not stupid. Take that. But there's no way in hell I'm going for that again. Okay, now we're gonna slowly... We're gonna take out one of these things. Eat cheese puffs! 
Okay. That's the red zinger, that's not good. Switch. Ow! I forgot that one moves! I forgot that one moves! Oh, but he goes to oh, okay, oh, way over there. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. No, get up! No, 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 no! Go back into him! One more, one more final stretch. One more final stretch. I'm just gonna go through this zinger. And these two. And if I get through these two, I'm gonna be so happy. I'm gonna literally be... No, no, no! And he looked at me too when I did it! I cannot believe they do not give me back the cog. Like, you have to be human to do that. That is quite possibly the most evil thing that they have ever done. No, there's no way that that's a cheat. Okay, let's try this again. Let's just be careful. Jeez, I'm gonna lose my voice. All the yelling I've been doing. Okay, okay. You know, this part isn't that hard. It's all about. I hate those flutters, though. Oh, just, just go, just go, just slow down. seven free eyes, so I might as well just use all of them. And I am not gonna go and cheat and go get a, a, the other cone. I'm not gonna go get Diddy. I'm not gonna do I'm gonna do this with one. No matter how long it takes me. And it's like, I bet you I could do it if I wasn't talking. But you know what? I have to talk. And I know you guys probably started cracking up laughing probably five minutes ago, and are gonna keep laughing until I actually did this done. But, you know, I'm just, I gotta do this. I'm not gonna cheat and go get Diddy to do this, even though I know I could. Heck, I'm probably sure some of you are saying, just go, for God's sake, just go get him. I mean, you're, you're gonna do it, you know. But no, I'm gonna do this with just one car. Man, I, I just cannot believe Nintendo and Rare. I cannot believe they did that. I could have swore that they gave me the other Kong when I did, um... What is it? The Rambi Rumble one? The one at the end? You know, the end of that level? Well, you know what? I'm gonna check that. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna lose one of the Kongs and see if they'll do that. Because if they do it there, but they don't do it here. Oh, man. Rare. I mean... Go to hell if you did that. I mean, that's just pure... Mean. You know, why couldn't it be in this level they gave you, like, an extra... You know, like, why couldn't they just be nice, give you a DK barrel, you know? Right here, I mean, because they know so many people failed this part. I know there are so many people who failed this. I mean, it. this is why this game is considered the hardest of any of them, of the three. Because of this level right here. I mean, it takes the cake along with Toxic Tower, even though, in my opinion, Toxic Tower wasn't that hard. Oh, wow, I got rid of him, so I have a place to back up to if I have to. Okay, all those guys are gone. And I know there's a DK barrel right there! <laughs> I know! I took my hand off the controller for a second, that was really stupid. <laughs> okay. Wait for him, because he he goes down. So we go down with him. Now we have to get rid of that stupid that stupid yellow one here. Because we can't fit through that, dude. No. No, I betcha we could, but there's no way on earth. Oh! Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. We made it, we made it! We're we made it! There. We're nearly there! Okay, we just got the two more! Alright, this one's so easy. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like stuck in between. Oh, yes! I did it! Yes! But I still have to do this. If I die here, I. Oh, 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 I'm just gonna cry. I'm gonna cry so hard if I fail this. Right, I'm gonna time this just right. Get up! 
Go, please, please, please. Okay, we just jump off him. Jump off him. Jump off him. Jump off him. We can jump off as many times as we like. And this is the final part. Final challenge. Just jump. No! No! Ah, no, 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 there's one more! Oh, fuck no! Oh, why did I do that? Oh. Oh, I was so close. I was so close. I had it! I had it done! I had it. I did the toughest part, and I had it done. That final part is so easy, and I made it so hard. You know, I bet you, I wonder what, what is, I, wonder, I gotta remember, what is the term for that when, I wonder what a psychologist would, like, describe that as. What, what is that feeling when you know you, you did the hard thing, but then you fail at the easy thing. Like, in any type of, like, situation, where you, like, the tricky part, you know, you do, and you get past it, and you're, like, relieved, and then you fail at, like, something so easy. I gotta know what that is. Now I'm just gonna talk peacefully. I'm gonna talk peacefully and quietly. No matter how painful it is, I'm just gonna sit here, I'm gonna be happy, somewhat happy, no matter whether I fail. And I just, you know, it's one of those what if. I mean, just what if I had just done it? I would be done right now. I would be so happy. I, I would be done with this part. But at the very least, you know, though the thing I can say is I'm learning this, like, I'm not gonna die at this part. Like, th like parts like this. I mean, now I know what I was doing wrong. I mean, you know, I made it through, like, a... See, I mean, I made it through that part, no problem. And now I just have to make it through this last final part. It's now or never. It's now or never. Ah! Oh! I... Please tell me I did not hit that bramble. I, I honestly, I, I could have swore, I swear, I thought I hit it. I thought I was going to hit it. Alright, we're back here again. I know that there's two parts like that that I failed. There's two of these where you have to jump on them and then bounce off. There's this one and then there's one more and then that's the end. I know that was the end. Okay. Yeah, why didn't I just bounce high? Okay, this is where I fail. I will not fail again. Oh, he's faster. I see what I did. I see what I did. Yes. Okay, now if I die right here. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, that would have been so bad. That would not have been good if I had flying into those zingers. Okay. All done. I'm going to take a deep breath. And there is our final challenge. Crocodile Core. I'm going to take a deep breath. Because I'm going to go. And i got to go figure out what that girl's name is. How to pronounce it. Then I will come and finish it. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> Deep breath. Got a nice drink of tea. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better. Oh, and I, and I looked it up. You pronounce it Iria. I believe is how how you spell. So I wasn't actually. You know, did I have it right? If I did, oh man, I know Japanese and everything. Cause that, cause the way they do it, just like Saria. There's a way you say it differently, but I'm not even going to bother with that right now. I'm happy. I am going to do one final. We have one final challenge ahead of us. It's Crocodile Core. Let's go inside. And yeah, K -Rail, Captain K. Rail is not happy that... I believe those... I thought those could kill you if you're not careful. Well, how this one works is he will not actually attack you, or you will not be hitting him back a bunch of different times. What he's going to do is just send out the purple smoke, which, you know, changes the controls, and he'll just send out a bunch of spiked cannonballs at you regarding the pattern. The, the purple smoke gives you what the pattern is going to be. Like right here, he's telling that it's going to be like that. The only difference is he's going to make it much shorter in between, which is why Diddy pretty much makes this one useless, why he's not good to use in this one. Like right here, he's showing the pattern. It's going to be a spiky ball. He's going to be fast and slow. And he's going to show two, and then I believe he does three. Yep. He's going to show three. And now... This is where Diddy... It's so hard to do it as Diddy. Because... He does that, and I believe... Yep, he's got one more. 
and this final one. Because Diddy makes it hard to make that jump. There's the barrel. And this is where I screwed up. I threw it at him too early. And he killed me and I had to redo it. <clears throat> I'll show you what I did and said. But yep, don't worry about jumping. All it does is backfire on him. And he goes bye-bye. But yep, you only get... But the thing is, if you fail, like let's say you don't get the barrel and it gets past you, you have to redo all of that again. It's not that bad. Nice going, kid. I reckon only a true video game hero would have finished it all. Even though you didn't do anything for like the last level or so. Let's get out of this miserable and get back to the Donkey Kong Island. Huh, cranky. So then why are you just standing there? Oh, he's gonna... Yep, here it is. Back to see me again, eh, Sonny? Let's see if you improved your hero status, shall we? No hoppers. <laughs> I like hoppers. <laughs> Take a shot at Sega, will you? Jeez. I'm not afraid to admit it, <laughs> Amy boy. Even I'm wrong, occasionally. You're as big a hero as they come. You must have after me and Donkey. Well done. And this is the true ending. Right here. As you see, that little ship. Okay, Ariel gets away. And that is the true ending right there. So this is Count Block 2009, guys, saying, I will see you guys. My next LP, it should be starting fairly soon. I have it all recorded, just so you guys know. It's all recorded. It's all done. I just actually have to just start editing it, start converting some stuff. Um, the later half of it will be in HD, or in much will be with component through the Wii. I didn't have I didn't have my HD TV to be able to do it beforehand, but now I do, so the second half, a little, little the last part of the game will be in nice HD, so just so you guys know. And I actually, I believe I'm going to be starting my sixth one today, since I got some time. So, see you guys next time I'm in the spotlight. Goodbye. But first, I got to check to see how long it took me. So I started with a minute, an hour and 52 minutes. <clears throat> and literally, I should have had it done by like 2.15 and took me probably an extra, you know, I'm gonna, when I edit, I'm gonna put a timer. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a little timer in the corner and see how long it took me. Oh, I hate myself. I, I, I'm just happy I got it done though. 100%? What? What? Is it only a hundred percent? I don't know. You know what? I, I did it. Okay, I did it. You guys saw. I didn't use. I, I, I they, there weren't DK barrels. I don't know why it's saying a hundred percent. Call it a day. Call it a video. Call it whatever the hell you want. All I know is I'm done with this game right now, and maybe for a long time until I calm down. So see you guys next spotlight. Goodbye. Just, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I. Oh wow. I'm such an idiot. Why did I. I didn't even have the. Oh, what I went for that? Am I stupid or something? Up oh, there's the barrel, and this should end it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot! I threw it too early! Ah, oh, I'm so stupid!